How's it going, everybody? Today, we are back for another episode of From Grimy to Glory. In the last episode, we refurbished my Game Boy Advance, which I don't have on hand because it's over on my shelf and I don't feel like getting up. And today, we are going to be refurbishing my original GameCube WaveBird wireless controller. Why, you might ask? Well, um, A, it looks disgusting. B, uh, the, the stick is starting to sway a little bit and I really don't feel like dealing with that. So, I'm going to take it apart, clean it with some isopropyl rubbing alcohol, and clean up the buttons because again, it's disgusting. So, without any further ado, let's just jump right on into it and not have any, you know, random shit like last time. So, now that all of these screws are out, the only thing left to do is remove the batteries. Potentially remove the batteries, there we go. Set those aside as well. And, without any further ado, let's let everything fall out and, you know, this is really what we want. We want everything to fall out because, um, well, everything needs to be cleaned. The D-pad is as grimy as it can be. The insides of the controller are also pretty disgusting. Let me move the B button. I'm gonna presume that's, ah, uh, that's the power up and down switcher. The membranes need to be cleaned. The C-stick buttons are pretty bad too. All in all, you know, like a bunch of disgusting stuff is coming out onto me uh, right now. Let's pop that out. And really, the only things that don't need cleaning are the uh, triggers. I just had a stroke trying to figure out what they were called. Uh, the triggers do not need to be cleaned. However, the battery, how do I, put, how do I, how do I pull that out of there? I'm sure it's fine if I leave them in there. I'm sure nothing really is going to happen to them. Um, triggers need to be, I mean like the triggers themselves, like looking in it, don't look that bad. Um, however, the shell does need to be cleaned. Need to do that. Need to get this cleaned with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, really just the front half of this needs to be cleaned. Uh, it is again very dirty. I figured out why the uh, joystick is slipping, and that is because it's disgusting. Um, if you can look, there is hair, and the wave bird came out in what, 2004? I'll, I'll put it up on screen. But it's been about that long since this controller has been cleaned. Um, but without any further ado, I will see you guys in the cleaning station. And by cleaning station, I mean my bathroom.
right, so we are back from that however long minute montage of cleaning the actual components of the GameCube controller. And I just I just want to say, um, even before putting this thing back together, if you if you paid attention to the water um, in the actual cleaning process, it was disgusting. Um, specks of like brown and all this crap just kept seeping into the water and it was just it kept getting grosser and grosser and um i did not like it but we are finished uh some things are still a little wet so i'm gonna be a little hesitant to uh put things back together but um yeah everything came out way 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 better than I was expecting. Um, I wasn't expecting so much, you know, dirt and grime to come out that easily because, you know, almost 20-ish years of, I guess 16 years, 16 years of grody nastiness coming off at once is amazing and very satisfying. But without further ado, I am going to put this back together and then, um, We'll probably do like a test uh, with the controller to see how it's working overall. <clears throat> I guess another speed montage. A little side note before we continue. I was not uh, able to... There's still wetness on here. That's not okay. Uh, there's actually wetness on the motherboard and that's not... We don't need that. Um, I did not have any isopropyl alcohol anywhere in this house apparently um so that's not fun uh, i was not able to get any isopropyl for the controller uh motherboard however i did use q-tips and all to get it situated and get it worked out uh i'm, I'm thinking just to you know persona per personalize personalize uh, my wave bird I'm gonna switch around the C stick and the the C stick and the actual analog stick um, just for a little bit of you know personality and uniqueness uniqueness ah maybe oh is that on that's on does that fit real question does it fit Kind of. Maybe if I put it on properly, it might fit, but... There we go. There's something not fitting. And I don't know... I guess the, uh, the, the, the... This is too big. I don't know. I guess we can't do that. Never mind that optimism. Youthful optimism at its finest, I guess. There's that. Put on... I might have not had it down all the way. Because that one went down a lot easier. Let's see. Um, there we go. Yeah, I guess I didn't have it down all the way. Either way, already, um, that's looking fantastic, uh, even with no buttons on it. I'm learning, you guys. And then the D-pad orientation doesn't really matter. It's just the D-pad uh, membrane orientation that matters. Um... Set the power switch back in, make sure that works, which it does. Um. Okay, I think for all intents and purposes, <laughs> This is finished. Um, I'm going to put in the batteries before we go any further, just to make sure that I did not mess anything up. Um, still powers on. And really and truly, that's all that matters. So now I'm going to re-enter all of the screws. I should not have put it down like that. Uh, I'm going to re-insert all of the screws and then boot up something maybe i'm gonna boot up melee why not because that's like actually a really good uh indicator of gamecube 
actual controller workability. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm recording this at like almost midnight. Um, so my brain is all over the place and screw. There are perks to this control or this uh, screwdriver being magnetic. However, there are also some very big negatives. Like when you're trying to screw it in and it keeps leaving you like your ex-wife and taking the kids along with it. Um, looking around to see if there's anything I could have cleaned better. And of course there is, but uh, I I'm sure I said it in the Game Boy Advance from Grimy to Glory. Hindsight is 2020 and it is 2020, believe it or not, uh, the time this is being uploaded. There we go. So, yeah, looking around the actual controller itself, like around the ridges here, that's just natural, you know, user grime that really is irreversible at this point, just due to how old it is. Um, but the things I was able to clean up look oh so better. Like the D-pad actually looks like a... Uh, no, it actually looks like someone didn't vomit in it and try not to screw that in too hard there we go and the controller's analog stick doesn't look as smoke damaged as it did before which is also very nice um hopefully uh, all the buttons still work and i did not mess anything up when putting it back together which you know it's I'm sure it's hard to do, like to mess it up that badly, but I, I'm sure I, 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 I trust myself enough to know that I didn't mess anything up, but at the same time, um, I know myself and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I did mess something up. However, hopefully this will go in and actually, there we go. Almost done. Two more to go and we can do some testing, guys. Okay, all of the buttons seem to be working, and I think it's testing time. So we are over at the computer to better, you know, test the uh, controller's usefulness in Elgato itself, and I do apologize for all of the staticky stuff in the back, the background of the uh, GameCube image, I guess. Um, I'm currently using one of those really crappy AV to HDMI things. I will be getting one of the uh, Air Aeon, Aeon, Aeon GCHD Mark IIs uh, really soon, actually. So um, GameCube videos will actually be in good quality and we can actually do them. Um, now, if you see, there might be a little bit of a problem with my GameCube itself, not really the uh, controller. But the battery is dead in my GameCube, so I, I do have to actually manually change that to 2020. And it's not as easy as you'd think because there's no easy way to go all the way down to uh, 2020 because I don't think that this thing will be working in 2093. Now, I'd hope it would because I love the GameCube. It's one of my favorite consoles. However, um, that's just weird. I don't understand why it constantly picks this time i don't know why but my it's very loud like it's losing its mind over there probably should clean that out eventually i'm not going to um but yeah let's but let's get into melee and hopefully me starting up the game will actually calm the console down Yeah, it's, it does that staticky thing throughout, like, all of uh, the screen, which is really annoying. Um, but let's go one-player mode. Let's just go into training. That way I can... Uh, golly, that's loud. I'm going to turn that down. Um, so that I can do the things. Now, if you notice, I don't... I don't have any characters for this game. There's got to be multiple things in this game. Hold on. Sure. 
Let's just here, Mute City. I don't know. Now this is the first time I'm ever using Smash. I mean, okay. So everything works, uh, it seems. Uh, but I don't play Melee ever. Um, I was always either a Brawl or uh, Ultimate person. Uh, specifically Brawl, because, you know, Ultimate just came out. Um, but I think overall, the controller works really well still. Um, there's a little bit of stiffness, and that's just... That's just because it's a, a GameCube controller. Uh, the only thing really stiff is this, the uh, Z button, which that was stiff before, so I didn't really change anything there. But I guess that's cute to end this because, I mean, there's not really much else to do. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, you know, do all the usuals. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe. There's gigantic projects in the works right now. This will be the second video of the month, and there are two more to come. That's right, I'm doing four uploads this month. It's cool, right? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the future. Peace, peace, guys. Mm -hmm.